you're like me, you probably assume ChatGPT's search feature runs on Bing. Yes, Bing, in case you forgot it existed. Since Microsoft owns a big chunk of OpenAI, it would make sense. But what if I told you, you might be wrong. When we tested it, the results told a completely different story. But one question keeps coming up. Where does ChatGPT actually get its information from? So we ran our own experiment to find out. We started with simple location-based searches inside ChatGPT's search modes, things like best pizza in Austin and plumbers in Chicago. We just wanted to see what businesses it would show and how they were ranked. A lot of the results included maps and business listings. We claimed and optimized a few in Bing Places for Business. So we changed a few business names and added keywords to them. Then we gave it a few weeks and checked Search GPT again for any ranking improvement. That's when things got really interesting. Even after optimizing the listings, nothing moved. The rankings stayed exactly the same. Which didn't make any sense. If Search GPT was using Bing, we should have seen at least some changes. But then we noticed something we didn't expect at all. ChatGPT was actually showing Google reviews. But with any test, one clue isn't enough. We needed to look a bit deeper to be sure. So we started checking the business names. Some names matched Bing results, but others didn't. And the ones that matched did match Google Maps listings. That was clue number two. It was starting to look a lot less like Bing and a lot more like Google. We needed one more piece of proof, something that couldn't be copied by accident. We looked at businesses that use call tracking numbers on their Google listings. Those are numbers that literally don't exist anywhere else online. And those exact numbers showed up in ChatGPT's results too. Which means ChatGPT had to be pulling that info directly from Google business profiles. If it's pulling information from Google instead of Bing, then how businesses show up in AI-powered search may depend a lot more on their Google presence than people might think. If AI tools start pulling information from different sources than we expect, we may need to rethink the way we approach SEO in the future. What do you think? Should we be preparing for a different kind of SEO in the future? Should AI tools be more transparent about where the data comes from? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to hear your take. And don't stop here. Check out this next video if you want to dig deeper. Trust me, you'll want to see what we uncovered next.